Hello viewers, oh, welcome to my channel. Uh, this topic is respiratory alkalosis, you know. Uh, but before starting, I would like to request you to like, subscribe and share these videos to support this channel. And if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition, you can visit my website, which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com. And the link for the website is just below this video in the description area. So don't forget to click that uh, link if you need uh, to visit the website. And the subscribe button is also below this video. And we come to the topic. The topic is respiratory alkalosis. You know, what is it? You know, it occurs when the levels of the carbon dioxide and the oxygen in the blood are not balanced okay and uh, your body needs oxygen to function uh, properly and when you inhale you introduce oxygen into the lungs you know and when you exhale you release the carbon dioxide uh, which is the waste product you know and normally the respiratory system keeps these two gases in balance you know and the respiratory alkalosis occurs uh, when uh, you breathe too fast or uh, too deep and the carbon dioxide levels drop too low, you know. And uh, uh, this causes the pH of the blood to rise and uh, become too, too alkaline, you know. And when the blood becomes too acidic, the respiratory acidosis occurs, you know. Okay. And uh, when it uh, becomes too alkaline you know then the respiratory alkalosis occurs you know and uh, I have uh, recently uploaded the video about the uh, respiratory acidosis you know now the next thing is what are the causes well the hyperventilation is typically the underlying cause for the respiratory alkalosis you know and uh, uh, hyperventilation is also known as over uh, like uh, over breathing you know and someone who is hyperventilating breathes very deeply and rapidly and uh, the panic attacks and the anxiety are the most common causes of the hyperventilation and uh, but they are they are not uh, the only possible cause other causes may include uh, like uh, asthma or maybe drug use you know pain, heart attack, uh, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease which is also known as COPD or infections or uh, pulmonary embolism you know and the pregnancy. So these are also the possible causes of the uh, this condition you know of the hyperventilation you know. And if you are experiencing hyperventilation uh, don't assume uh, you know the cause you know. So make an appointment with the doctor for further evaluation and the diagnosis. And, uh, you know, over-breathing is a sign that the respiratory alkalosis is likely to develop, you know. And, uh, however, the low carbon mono, uh, like uh, carbon dioxide levels in the blood also have a number of physical effects, including like dizziness or uh, bloating or maybe feeling lightheaded, uh, numbness uh, or the muscle spasm in the hands and feet, you know. And the discomfort in the chest area, confusion, uh, like... Uh, tingling in the arms, heart palpitations, or rapid heartbeats, you know, abnormal heartbeats, and uh, feeling shortness of breath, you know. And, uh, you know, the treatment uh, depends on the underlying cause, you know. And uh, if it's caused by the panic or the anxiety-related issues, you know, uh, the treating that condition uh, is a matter of, uh, like, uh, or raising carbon dioxide levels in the blood, you know. And uh, but there are certain strategies and the tips that are useful uh, for the treatment of the respiratory alkalosis which are caused by the over-breathing due to the panic or the anxiety disorders, you know. And uh, that may be like uh, breathe into a, a, like a paper bag, you know. So which means that uh, fill the paper bag with the carbon dioxide by like uh, exhaling into it, you know, and breathe the exhaled air uh, from the bag back to the lungs, you know, rather than uh, inhaling the fresh air where the carbon dioxide, uh, the oxygen will be high, you know. 
and uh, repeat this for several times. So this will be you will increase the carbon dioxide in your blood, you know. And do this for several times and can give the body more carbon dioxide it needs and brings levels back to the normal, you know. The next thing is uh, uh, the symptoms of the respiratory alkalosis can be frightening and uh, this is often it causes the faster and the deeper breathing, you know, making things worse, you know. And uh, having a calm uh, a loved one provide like uh, reassurance uh, could help get you better uh, and breathing under control you know and uh, the next thing is the uh, restrict the oxygen into the lungs you know so uh, you know try breathing while uh, uh, pushing the lips or the uh, breathe through the nostrils you know and uh, for the second approach to be uh, useful, you know, and the mouth and the other nostrils need to be covered, you know. And uh, the strategies I have just told are simple ways and easy to perform, you know. And the people who often experience the, like, over-breathing due to the anxiety can use these methods at home as well. And... Uh, uh, anyone experiencing the over breathing and the symptoms of the respiratory alkalosis for the first time uh, should go to the hospital right away. Uh, don't try these uh, these strategies at home, you know. The reason is because you need to, to be diagnosed first, you know. Okay. And uh, the recovering process depends on the cause. And uh, if you develop the respiratory alkalosis due to the conditions like anxiety, you know, you can usually expect to, uh, to recover fully, you know. And the symptoms should disappear shortly after carbon dioxide levels uh, in the blood are brought back to the normal, you know. And uh, in other cases, it may be a real em medical emergency, you know. And uh, the outlook will depend on the underlying and the severity of the underlying cause, you know. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit my website, which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com. And uh, please do not forget to like, subscribe, or share these videos to support this channel. And if you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit my website, which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com. Thank you. And please do not forget to subscribe this channel. We need your support. Thank you.